or not. Oh, there it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Micah, Simone, and I are on Estancha La Pacha. And Micah and I are going to do some... I'm going to actually get out there with the sprayer and do some weeding. We have the giant metris. So we might as well do that at once. And what are you going to work on, Mr. Micah? Sun tanning. <laughs> but the sun's going down. Oh, man. I guess I'm going to go to bed. Okay. <laughs> Actually, after we weed, we can go to bed. How's that? Yeah, sounds good. It'll be our first on, popcorn. It'll be our first videotaped online multiplayer sleep session. I don't know. This is getting scary. I, <laughs> it is sounding a little weird, isn't it? Yeah. Arthur and Micah sitting in the tree. S L E E P I N G. Why won't this turn yeah, on? Really. Oh, it's empty. Durr. I forgot to fill it up. <laughs> so you two are going to go into the house together and sleep together. That's right. Into the trailer park house. Into the trailer house. Wow. Going up in the world, babe. <laughs> we just can't afford the Estancia La Pacha um, manor home yet. It'll fit on that plot, though, Micah. Someday we'll be able to buy a really nice house. Yeah. Let's hope so. Our farm's going to be rich. Or in the ditch. Or in the ditch, that's right. Rich or in the ditch. So how was your week, Mr. Micah? Did you have all those? I know you said there were a lot of games that you had to go to. Yeah, yeah, I just, I worked like yesterday. What time did you Which have to Which is pretty yesterday? cool. What was I it? I got to work, got to work and um, was uh, going to where I had the, I work position and some lady's like, hey, you want, would you like some lasagna? <laughs> I just I look over like what? She goes, Yeah, I got this leftover lasagna when they had a some party or something was going on. Oh. She goes, like, would you like a slice of lasagna? I'm like, Heck, Heck yeah. yeah. Give me that. So, so I went down I went over there and sucked down a slice of lasagna really quick. Now you like Simone, you don't like you like lasagna but you don't like ravioli, right? Yeah. Call from Herman Shirley. Sorry, let me get rid of that. That's okay. Mr. Micah. You heard the phone ring, right? Yeah. Paging paging Mr. Micah. Yeah, but I gotta have to see if I can shut that off. Shut that phone off. Here comes the exciting part. This is where we weed. Actually though with <laughs> What'd you say, Moni? I said this is so exciting. Put your phone up by your neck so we can hear you. You are very far away. That's why I said peanut gallery. <laughs> Page, there we go. Paging Mr. Herman. Is that better, sir? Sir, that's better, miss. Yes. Yes, my lady. Okay. Sir is happy. So I started my day out at work. It was really nice. That's awesome. Only had one angry old dude. Angry old so dude. And they yell at you? Oh yeah, they gave you they you know they give you a they give you a bunch of crap. You what know? was he angry about? Well, you know you you have you buy a ticket and you're supposed to sit in that seat. So, you know it's our job to make sure that nobody takes other people's seats. Oh. So every time these older guys who've been there a million years, right? You know you go they come in and you're like, can I see your ticket? And they're like, I know where I'm supposed to sit. You don't have to tell me. You know, <laughs> so it's just like, like I'm just trying to do my job, man. Yeah. So he was in the wrong section. So I was just like, well, your section's over there. He's like, I know where my seat's at. I'm like, oh, okay. So what do you do at that point? You just get security or? No. He was kind of cut through my section to get to his. Oh, okay. Which, which is fine. You know, I just, you know. But they just, they just have us. They get upset. Tell them to back off. I had one guy tell me, he's like, oh, I've been here since they opened the place. And I was like, well, then you should know that I need to see your ticket. <laughs> but I didn't. I was just like, I was like, really? Like, has it changed much? You know, I just trying to change. Change the, the subject. Stuff. Yeah. Like cheer him up a little yeah. bit. I would like to get the Imperador at some point. Maybe that could be our next purchase. When the that, Imperador. The, the sprayer. Oh, yeah. That thing is really efficient with spray. It's well, way more I efficient. personally think we need to upgrade your tractor. Yeah? Okay. 
What do we like, need? Like, I think we should sell your Stara and uh, get another tractor with a front PTO <coughs> and everything. like another all right, but well, a medium tractor. It'll be sad to get rid of the Stara because that's all we have. <laughs> well, we got mine. We'll keep mine. That's true. That's true. But we need a we need a a tractor that can uh, mow and uh, yeah, up. we do. You're right. Our tractors will start looking like the actual dirt color from Star of Farm because we have used the new mod. Yeah. That's pretty cool stuff. Um, I forget where I first heard it from, but somebody let me know that it was, I think it was Big City, was telling me about it. And I was like, ooh. And I immediately thought of our Estancia La Pacha map. Mm -hmm. So what's funny is here we are in the sweltering heat of South America, and yet outside of my house we are having a blizzard right now. It has been snowing all day, nonstop. I know. I took the toy out today. Oh, yeah? How did it handle? Fine. Minivans are pretty good in the snow. My car is frightening, frighteningly bad. My uh, Kia, it is really bad in the snow. Like, <laughs> like I was coming home the other day, and Moni was with me, and I had the kids in the car, and I didn't say anything because the kids were there. Uh, I came up around a corner, um, and I was doing maybe like 35, and I started braking, and because there was an intersection and it was slippery and the, the car would not stop. And I slid probably a, maybe 400 feet around the corner. Like I had control of the car slightly. And, and this is going on to route three, which is a 55 mile an hour road. And there was traffic. And I was just like, Oh my gosh. And I was getting ready to put the car in the ditch. Um, be uh, because I couldn't, that is scary, I man. couldn't stop. I just, the car would not stop. And um, it finally, I, I kept checking to see where the traffic was and I was able to time it so that I slid out into the intersection when there was no car there right behind another car and then, you know, jerked the wheel and got the car to turn because that that road was plowed. And uh, but it was it was an almost accident. I was either going to end up in the ditch or hitting somebody. And I was like, this is really bad. Like that car does not stop when it's it'll drive and you can steer it, but it will not stop. And so I don't know. I'm probably going to end up once again, it's all about money, right? But I'm gonna I'm gonna actually ask my friend Tim if I can borrow three or four hundred bucks. Um, he's the guy that I got the car from. Um, to get snow, well, you got, to get a well, set you, of snow you know, tires. The car was full of kids, right? Yeah. So you had you had weight in the car, but yeah, it was full. And I have. Well, I can tell you this: my tires my are only six man, months old. It it did fine, but it still was nothing like my old E150. Really? I, mean, I yeah. I mean, it's that old van is so heavy. You know, you hit the brakes, and it's just like you can feel the wheels grinding on the road, you know, stopping. Oh, oh wow. And, okay. But this new van, I took it out, and I slammed on the brakes. And, you know, I was like kind of, you know, you could feel it sliding more than the old van. Thank you, you so know, But it's still controllable. You know, I can still go where I want and stuff, but. No, I, I just, like I think I need a set of snow tires for the front. I don't need, I don't need a full set because the car steers, but mm -hmm. I need to be able to stop. And I think I need to actually get spiked snow tires to make it work. Like the, well, the spikes will work against you when you're on, when the roads are plowed and cleared. So just so you know. I know it's hard to know what to do. What well, I would get some Michelins. Maybe that would be the trick, like just some for the fronts. Yep, just get some, Michelins are a really good tire. Goodyear's are okay the first couple of years, but then they they get hard pretty fast. Michelins are really good. Okay. And just get them and use them for the winter, you know? Well, or just just get some front new tires, and then that's it. Save the old front ones for the rear. Yeah. Oh, true. That's a good point. But remember, you don't want to keep a tire over seven years anyway. Right, right. Well, these are only like nine months old. Okay, yeah, there you go. They're pretty new, so. What's going on, guys? Oh, babes. Okay. No, well, I'm I was glad to know you're okay. Yeah, it was a scary moment. I really, I don't like that, and I don't. <clears throat> I'm, you know, I'm a good driver. I've been in the snow my whole life, and and <coughs> sometimes you just go out of control, you know. And it doesn't matter how good you are. There's just nothing you can do um, if it's slippy, if it's slippery enough. Mm -hmm. And that was one of those moments where I was just like, well, you know. Either it's going to time out just right or we're going to end up in an accident. And, and uh, 
I was beeping my horn and I was flashing the uh, um, the lights like to the people in the intersection. Nobody paid any attention. They weren't. Nobody was getting. Oh, over, of course, no. You know, but I couldn't stop. But I was ready to ditch it, and thankfully I didn't have to. So, yeah, it was kind of scary. I'll tell you what, this sprayer is nice. I mean, it's been we've been going for ten minutes, and I'm almost done. <laughs> Are you laughing at me, Moni? No, not at all, babes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Micah. I'm just so pleased to know that you are enjoying the sprayer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sprayer. It's a great sprayer. Strong. It'll it'll definitely hold us out till we get the Imperador. Yep. Yep. So what tractor do you think we ought to try to go for next? Well, think we should get a John Deere? <laughs> um, according to uh, my Brazilian source uh, at Stara, um, D Daniel said that um, the uh, um, they use Case down there. Okay. So the, the if you don't have if you don't have Stara, then you have Case. Um, so I would okay. say be looking at the Case tractors. You know the the Puma, the Puma is a good one. The two hundred horsepower, two two hundred plus horsepower. Um, or you know, there's always the. Uh, um, what is the one, the Ma Maxim or whatever, the the, mm -hmm. the one that's 300 horsepower? That one's a good price range one, too. Well, we'll have to figure out if we have a... F um, if we're going to have a set of mowers on one tractor, and then the well, star can pull the trailer or the tether. So I think that's what our... Our goal is? Yeah, because... I mean, I don't know how big of a case we're going to need. I don't think it has to be huge, but the Puma would probably be big enough. That was like Mystery Science Theater when they had the, the, the movie P Puma Man. It's like a really horrible. Uh -huh. it, was, it was a really uh -huh. horrible superhero movie called Puma Man. <clears throat> and when the label came up on the screen, it's all one word, Puma Man. And oh the, gosh! And the, and Crow goes Poomayman. <laughs> Poomayman. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, I love Mystery Science Theater. Josh. I know I'm a goofball. I know, Moni. I always like trying to do our own, your own version of Mystery Science Theater. <laughs> they, those guys, I mean, they go through, they they practice. You know what I mean? Like they don't just do the movie. I think they watch. They said they watch it like four or five times before they do one. Oh, I'm sure they sit there and try and tell jokes, and then they're like, "Oh, write that, keep that one. That's a good yeah, one." Yeah, like what you works know? and what doesn't. Yeah. I always like the inner the the between. Uh, what do you call it? Like the like the between. Oh, how they roast each other, or yeah, like the little they they always try to do something from the movies that they're watching, like in between the 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 commercial breaks. Oh, okay. So like they'll have like the outfit from the the movie, or one of the characters from the movie will show up, or. <clears throat> I like that. Uh oh. Somebody's texting me. I'm texting and spraying at the same time. If I was a boy, I have no idea. Something Moni okay. sent me. Okay, nice ringtone. <laughs> if I was a boy, she sent me a, <laughs> a video. Leave it at that, please. Who is that? Who sings that? It's like probably Katy Perry. That's not the song. It wasn't this song that you were supposed to be watching. I know. I saw the video. That was pretty funny. She sent me a, an inappropriate video for the channel. <coughs> oh man, this cold. It does remind me a bit of you, though. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm all snotty today. How's how's everything going downstairs, Seth? Are they having fun? Yeah. Are they just watching movies? Yeah. My mom's. Oh my. Look at that pretty sunset, Mr. Micah. 
I know. Isn't that gorgeous? Be, isn't that beautiful? I really do like this map, and man, that looks like Southern California. Oh, Moni's dropping things with the squeaky chair. Sorry. Is that like the comfy chair? I'm Willy Sowie. Willy? Are you Willy Willy yeah, Sowie? She's Willy Sowie. Are you Willy? You Willy Wowie? I'm Willy 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 Wowie. Really, while we, I you know I was playing around with that seed tender, Mister Mike. We've been using it on Moni's farm on the uh, Xbox, mm -hmm. and it works pretty well with certain cedars, right? And then it's terrible with other ones. Some of the planters it works with, some of them it doesn't. Which cedar? The the seed tender that uh, those trailers, the ones I have hooked up to the JCBs. Oh yeah. They, it's it's a hit and miss. Yeah. Did you see that way to get uh, seed really cheap? No, how do you do it? It's a hack. No, no hacks. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> he said, okay. Why do you should know this? He's like straight down the middle. You can't go left or right with it. <laughs> I am pretty straight. No, I, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna do it either. I was just asking if he had seen it. Nope. How do, what do they do? You, uh, well, if you go to the store, you can buy sugar cane. Basically, you take sugar cane seeds. And the pallet. Okay. So it's like two, two hundred and something for for a thousand. You fill up your sugar cane cedar and then empty it, and it turns it into seed bags. Oh, oh, that's terrible. So basically, oh. one pallet of sugar cane seeds is like two hundred and let's say two fifty, and then you can get I think it's like <coughs> six. Oh, for that's... The same, for six seed bags out of that one pallet. Or something, something like that. No, no. It's two. It's two. It's, so every one of those you buy for two something, you can get two bags of seed out of it. That's terrible. I think. Let me let me look at the store real quick. Yeah, it is naughty. It's. I mean, it's all right. It's just the way they made the game. They just weren't expecting it. <laughs> it's so funny, yeah, because it's like all these ways that people exploit the game. They're like, oh, right. like the developers are like, oh man, like. <laughs> so nine hundred dollars or. Yeah, nine hundred. I'll just say nine hundred dollars for a thousand. If you buy a seed bag. Let's see, where is it? Oh, it's probably in the wrong section. Pallets. Poplar. So it's two hundred eighty for one. Uh, pallet of uh, sugarcane seed, and it's two thousand. So you get basically two two seed bags for two hundred eighty bucks. Two seed bags for two hundred and eighty bucks. Okay. Instead of paying nine hundred dollars per bag, you're paying, uh, what is it, one forty? Okay. So the, so you cut the price. You can cut your. You can save a lot of money. Okay. And the other thing, nice too, is you can take. Um, that gave me another idea. Is instead of going and buying seed from now on. Yes. We could try and maybe plant a small field of potatoes or potatoes, and then instead of taking the potatoes fill up the potato seed planter and then just emptying it and it'll turn into uh, seed bags. Oh, that's horrible. And then we'll get seed for free out of our potatoes. Terrible. So cheaty. <laughs> but yeah, it, but it's an idea. It is. It's a good idea. Shady. I still wish they would uh, remember that one map we had where we could make our own seed if we put in wheat and stuff like that. Yeah. I wish they would incorporate a machine like that into the game. I bet you they will. Somebody's probably working on it. Because that was pretty cool. Yeah, you're talking about that. Put in fertilizer. The, yeah, and, the seed dispenser. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the seed yeah. station. I'm sure somebody yeah, will. I'm sure cool. they will. Because that's what they really do in real life. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Repair this. Yeah. Customize it. Let's put on the... Oh, pardon me. I'm so sorry about the coughs. Stupid cough. I'll get some cough drops in a second here. Oh, I forgot we had gas on the farm now, too. That's pretty cool. Are we going to go night-night? Are we going to go ahead and finish tedding and stuff? Uh, Let me just finish mowing this little bit here, and then we go You got it. night-night. I just figured I'd do something while you're... Okay. 
I'm gonna put the tractor away for the night then. I was getting ready to tether. Well, you can always hook hook up the tether on it if you want. Deal. I shall get the tether. It'll be ready the for the tether of the, love. The tether of morning. The morning tether. Is it bad that I have to poo? You are. In real life? In real life, yes. Well, go pinch one out, man. I think it's because I had coffee. You know, there'll be no pinching going on today. I've got, I've been eating. Oh, oh, I've been, I've been taking this anti, like the, what do you call it? Like the Elka-Seltzer, like decongestant. Mm-hmm. So I flow like a fountain. Nice. Oh, <laughs> No pinching. Sounds like a morning milkshake. They're nothing like a chocolate milkshake. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna. Dad, you still owe me a milkshake. I still. Yeah, Seth. I've got one for you right here, Seth. <laughs> still, <yeah. laughs> Somehow he still's not deterred from thinking about food. Oh, where has this conversation gone? Poor Moni. Maybe Sorry. two, three more passes. I'm done. All right. You do realize, don't you? I am sat here eating. Oh, I am so sorry. No, you don't. I am sorry. No, I really am. That's nasty. Bad boyfriend. Bad boyfriend. You are so full of it sometimes. I, I really am sorry. What do you think about putting that one weight mod in? What's that? I think we could actually. Where the uh, yeah, let's like, say you have a thousand liters of seed will actually weigh a thousand liters. Yeah, we can do that. Why doesn't it? Why didn't they just do that by default? Like, I guess it's so the tractors will run faster. I guess or. Okay, let me go wash, wash this little bugger off. Do it, and then you can. I'll get the well. <coughs> Pardon me. Shutting that thing down. Turn the flashlight on. All the excitement of the, of the farm. I've got your garage door open for you, Mr. Micah. It's right here, ready for you. Okay. Hey, Seth, can you hand me that bag of cough drops, kiddo? No. Is there lights in this barn? So, are we going to... Nope, that's not it. Um, we're going to make hay, right? And where are we putting the hay? Um, in, in that the, barn? Yeah, we got the loft, yep. And we're going to feed it to the horsies, too, but... I just got something. Yeah, noops. You've owed me a milkshake for about three months now. It's not been three months. It's yeah. been a month. You still owe me it. My... Never mind. I got problems. I'll get you one. I know exactly what you're about to I won't sing it. I won't sing it. Look at these red, muddy tires. That is really cool. That's awesome. All right, come on, Mike. Let's go to bed. I'm tired. I need to sleep. Cool. You were so cute, Moni. Oh, look at Micah putting the tractor away all nice and neat. You make me proud, Mr. Micah. I love those muddy tires. I know I do, too. Look at that. That's really cool. Whoever did that mod, good job. Good job. The red clay. Yeah. People are always asking why the mud is orange. Here's the thing. When you get into the South, South America, and even South of the United States, um, parts of it do have what they call red clay. So if you go to Arizona, if you go to um, Georgia. Arkansas. Arkansas. The dirt is actually a very orangish red, um, and it's because it has a high iron content. The iron rusts. and it makes They actually mix the uh, clay in with the <laughs> asphalt in Arkansas. Oh, wow. And as soon as, you hit, as soon as you hit Arkansas, the roads are red. Yep, they turn red. Yep. So if you're wondering why, that is why. Are you ready for night-night, Mr. Micah? Sure. Come on over to the the trailer home. <laughs> I prefer the doghouse. I spend a lot of time there. 
All right, we want to sleep how many hours? Oh, I, I got to mow this lawn. We're going to sleep 10 hours? Does that? What time does that take us to? What time is it now? It's 20. So that I would take... It's 10 o'clock. So 10 o'clock. So if we slept 10 hours, that would take us till 8 o'clock in the morning? No, it's 9, right? 9? What? Hang on. No, wait, it's 8. It's, it's 8 20, o'clock. Huh? So we can go to six. If we go ten hours, it'll take us to six. And that's when the sun comes up. So let's do it. I've screwed it up. Okay, ten hours. Oh, uh, you got to vote. Yeah. <clears throat> that's one for the A team. Oh man, I want to move the camera around a little bit. <laughs> it's six oh seven in the morning. You want to ride our hoses? Or let's feed Are him first. Ready? Let's do the hay. Let's do the hay first. Okay. And then we'll we'll feed him, and then we'll take him for a ride. So what do we need to do for the hay? Um, if you want, uh, I'll Ted, and you can, um, and you can um, windrow. Pick him up in the wagon. Well, we got a windrow then after that. Okay. So if you, if you want to do the, I'll Ted with the little, with okay. our little Voltra. The orange Voltra. Oh, wait, the tether's on the other tractor. <laughs> All right, I'll Ted with the star tractor. The funny thing is, I just did this two minutes ago, and I forgot already. Two minutes ago, oh, yeah. Time <coughs> flies when you're having fun. Yeah, I know. And I am having fun. Are you having fun, Moni? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boom. Bored. <laughs> Tether on. Fourteen percent. Fourteen percent of what? I think it's uh, their fitness. Oh, good. Okay, first day. So now, why do you guys call apartments a flat? Because that's what they're called. But why? Because that's what they're called. Is it because it doesn't have two, like, stairs? Like, I've just, I've always wondered that. Because you gotta be flat broke to live in them. Oh. Either that, or it's because it's flat on one level. <laughs> it's all one level. <laughs> we call that a, we call that a ranch. Now, do you guys have do you guys have condos over there too? Like people buy apartments and no. they, they actually own them, so no. you don't you don't have that. That's something that's I don't want to say real popular over here. They're hard to sell. That's why people don't like to buy them. But if you don't like doing yard work and stuff, um, we have condos all over the place. So people buy older people buy them. They own them, but they're it's why an apartment. You bought one? Huh? Why haven't you bought one? I know. I actually, if I was by myself, I probably would, to be honest with you. But then you have to pay. Then you have to pay condo fees and stuff, though. That's why he has Ryan. What'd you say, Babs? I said you're an older person with your little walking stick. <laughs> with my little walking stick? I don't have a walking stick. What are you talking about? You have a very big walking stick. Oh Lord. <sighs> <laughs> she never fails to amaze <laughs> I almost feel like we could mow this again Mike it looks like it grew overnight it did but we don't don't do it again because it'll get all mixed Now, do you play The Sims, Mr. Micah? Uh, no. No. It's kind of a fun game. I'm a little bit addicted to it already. I play The Sims. I like it. I have a hard enough time with this life, let alone trying to screw somebody else's life up. <laughs> <laughs> screw someone else's life up. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Unless you can go on a on a shooting rampage, I'm not interested. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Uh Now behave, Babs. Uh huh. All right, we're going to finish tending this field, and that will be our station identification break. Um, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this episode of Estancia La Pacha as the farm grows and we get ready to feed our horses, and pretty soon we'll have straw and oats and hay and all that stuff that we need to feed them. Now, we don't have a silo, do we, Mr. Micah? For the, no, uh, we don't. For the no, we're, we were going to use the trailer. Okay, so we got a tipper. I think we were going to buy a, 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 yeah, we're a tipper. Use yeah. Okay. For a while. Yep. <laughs> so then I just go, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. I was watching a guy use one of these the other day on, on YouTube. Oh, money. Very cool piece of equipment. Which is this using the what? Oh, in real life, you're watching them the use rake. that the rake? Yeah, those rake, rakes are yeah. awesome. Most of the ones that they use around here are just single sided. So they run down one way with the rake and then they come back the other way. But uh I uh, I don't I don't usually I don't think I've ever seen the want the uh, I don't I don't we see the um, wind rowers uh, but we like like the single sided but I I almost never see have you ever seen one of those in action Micah like the rake like the no. double sided one like that and I don't ever see the Most pinwheel the ones either around here do corn well yeah true Ohio really is a corn state. Um, but they, we did, they do soybeans too, but that doesn't leave anything to be windrowed. Right. I mean, around here mostly I always see corn, soybeans. That's about. You know, I don't think we've ever seen potatoes either. Definitely don't see what? wheat. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I mean, once in a while I see wheat, but I, I do see soybeans and I do see. Um, I think I see barley. Maybe it's not barley. But it is it is rare. Like, I don't... I see hay farmers, though. We do have hay farmers. Because, of course, the cows, you know. And horses. And those are the guys I see with the one-sided tetras. But most of them use smaller tractors, and they're making smaller bales. Like, the pickup, the ones you do with your... Uh... <laughs> uh... I can tell Moni's getting bored. She's Whoa. sending me text after text. Oh, shoot. What happened, Mr. Micah? Did you crash? No, I almost ran into our field. Me, I have no idea what you mean. I'm not bored. All right, good. Have you heard from Kyle again? Or? No, I saw him. He's he's posted stuff. I mean, I talked to him through uh, um, Steam sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then also through Facebook. But, um, you know, he's just busy. He's working full time now. So he works at a lumber mill. Then he's got his goats he's taking care of. <laughs> I don't know if you saw on the, the Facebook page. He has posted pictures of his goat. They had, ba they had ba a baby. Oh, yeah. When do I get my goat? No goat. What do you mean no goat? Am no. I not allowed to goat at all now? You can have a goat, but it can't be in the house. But that's not what I said. You said I couldn't have a goat. Whenever we can afford it. <laughs> Should we get a goat, Mr. Micah? Do you like goats? Uh, my aunt had a goat. They're pretty. I thought it was always kind of funny. Yeah, they're cute. They really are kind of cute. My friend. I my... definitely check into your ordinances though in your neighborhood first. I'm pretty sure we can have them. We can have pretty much any farm animals. I think in Medina. Medina's very Yay! farm friendly. Yay! I want a goat and a miniature cow. Can we get it? Can we get a pygmy goat though? Miniature cow. Oh, the cow. Oh, the goats that fall over. Yeah, definitely. Those are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they, they? It's like a defense mechanism. Something like that. It can't be good for them, though. That can't be good. 
Yeah, but babe, you fall over all the time. <laughs> uh, that's not funny, and sometimes I do. But that in self-defense, though. I felt well, the last time I fell, it was weird. Like right when I got divorced, I fell like four or five times. I slipped, tripped, and fell. Uh, You're probably so excited, you know. I just yeah. couldn't believe it. I was walking. All the stress was gone. <laughs> I was walking with I think Peary and, and Violet and I tripped and I totally did a full like a full roll and ended up back on my feet. <laughs> but it hurt and nonetheless. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you have enjoyed this episode of Estancia La Pacha. Uh, I am going to take a station Estancia identification break here. Be sure Estancia La Pacho, sorry. Uh, thumbs up always help. Be sure to subscribe and we will see you guys next time on YouTube. Have a great night and we'll see ya. Bye. Wanna say bye, Micah? Bye. Want to say bye, Moni? Bye, Moni. <laughs> Here we go. Bye.